Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you some of my own homemade unofficial Morse code memo tricks. Um, this will be very helpful when you are dealing with Morbid and Pollock ciphers, which are two codes that are based on the Morse code, and I'm pretty sure the official term for it is like super encoding uh, of some sort. So, uh, of course, all the Morse codes will be provided on the cheat sheet which means that if you uh, forgot one of them, it is not a big deal. But it, I just personally found it a, a lot easier if I memorized all these Morse codes uh, so that my speed was up there and fast and I could crack those codes very efficiently. For the 2019-20 season of Science Olympia, the International Morse Code is used. So here's the set. We can take a look at that and this is what I memorized. Um, if ever there's another version of the Morse code used, you can always use the tricks that I'll be introducing today to come up with your own memory tricks. Um, so in this case, if you take a look at these, we can see that there are um, four categories of the letters if we arrange them by the length, as in you can have onesies. I'm just going to call them onesies. This is not the official term. Um, there's only one dot or one dash it's shown here right there are the the two z's with um, two dot slash dashes holding in position as circled out here in the i mean squared out here in the blue and then there's also the three Z's. This is sounding really weird now. I'm gonna block them in um, a black marker. And then the remainings are all 4Zs. So if you do a little probability calculations with math, you can understand why the setup is like this. So for all the individual letters in Morse code, everything is going to be composed of either a dot or a dash in different combinations and different lengths. So for the 1Zs, there's only two possibilities holding one position, either a dot or a dash, therefore the 2. In the 2Zs, you have two positions to be held in place. Uh, in both cases, you can put either a dot or a dash. So two times two will give you four. And then similarly in the three Zs, um, you do two times two times two. You have three positions. Each of them have two possibilities. That gives you eight. And then the remainings are four. So in four, excuse me, you can have 16 possibilities but we don't need that many because there are only 26 uh, letters in the alphabet. So um, there is a selective few that are not included and the remaining are here mapped onto the letters. So if we arrange them by the lengths, this is what you'll get. Um, and I looked it up a little bit on Wikipedia and I found out that for Morse code, um, the encryption process kind of uh, was done in accordance with the inverse of the ranking of like the frequency of the letters. So the most frequently used letters are going to have to be mapped onto the um, shortest uh, and vice versa, the longer or uh, positions, lengths of the Morse codes will be for the letters that are less frequently used. So in this case, da, e, and t are going to hold the positions of the onesies. And then the reason that I did this is because uh, for the first three, I can form them into bare words, specifically for two and three. Um, two is main and three is God works. So meaning like G-O-D, W-U-R-K-S. Um, all of these eight letters are going to be the ones holding um, positions of three. And then the remaining letters will be in four. Um, with the four, four Z's. So if you can memorize ET, main, God works, however you want to do that, um, those will be the ones you know accordingly or respectively will have one Z's, two Z's, and three Z's.